What's up, y'all? Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this, but something is just telling me to make this, so I'm making it, and we'll see if I even post it. But I wanted to make this video because last night when I was walking home, um, I had a knife pulled on me by some guy in the park, and and my, my nervous system's really dysregulated right now. And, and I'm really on edge and hypervigilant and um, having a tough day. And I just wanted to share some things that I like to do when I'm feeling dysregulated that have been passed down to me from people who care about me and yeah I just wanted to share that with you um because life keeps happening and just because we're dysregulated doesn't mean that it's gonna stop and we gotta find ways to cope um when old methods of coping aren't working anymore, you know? So, uh, the first suggestion is to talk about it with somebody. Call your people. Call my people. Which I did that night. I was walking home last night and I was walking through the park that I always walk through every night to get home. And this guy, you know, hollered at me over by this little pond. And we were talking and, you know, just like simple stuff. And then I, I was talking to this duck when he called me over because there's this duck that lives outside in the pond. And I'll talk to him in the pond sometimes before I go inside. And he's like, who are you talking to? I'm like, that duck over there. So we start talking about the duck. And I talk about how this park is a sacred space for me. And there's something intangible about it that speaks to my soul. And that I just feel safe when I'm there. And just kind of nodding. And it's the middle of the night. You know, it's probably like 9.30 or 10 at this point. And... Um, we keep talking about life, you know, he's out, I could tell that he was, you know, he's out there living on the streets and, you know, he's living a tough fucking life right now. And, um, and I was just trying to be there to listen to for him and, uh, helped him as best I could. And then I had to be on my way. And we start talking about his, you know, he's got a kid somewhere and we're just talking about life and how we manage and just two human beings having a conversation. And we get up and then I see that he's got this knife that's probably like, you know, a foot long and two or three inches wide. And he slips it into his coat pocket and I just, it took me a second, but I realized I'm like he had a knife on me the whole time. And it was so dark that I didn't even know. And, and I feel very divinely protected in this moment. And so after that, I, I leave, I go home and he goes on his way. Um, and we part ways on good terms and that's when my dysregulation starts happening that's when I start getting really amped up that's when I'm my you know my shoulder I can feel it in my shoulders my fists are clenched that, that knot in my stomach that tells me that something's wrong I'm in my apartment building and people are walking around in the hallway and it's setting me off it's putting me on edge you know I'm 
pacing around my apartment. I'm, I feel unsafe even with the door locked. I'm trying to talk myself down from barricading the door shut. And you know, all these extreme responses that my body is telling me I'm not safe. So how do I deal with that? How do we deal with those things? And so I call someone in my network and I talk to him about it. I tell him everything, how I'm feeling, that it was, you know, it scared me, that I'm sad that he had, that that situation happened, that he's even out there and he's got, you know, I, I'm grateful because I have a place to go. I can leave and I can come to, I can go home, but he's out there still. And, and it, it brought a new level of gratitude into my life, which I hadn't been feeling in a while. And so number one, talk to people. Number two, be gentle with myself and be gentle with yourself because I'm feeling it this morning. I didn't sleep last night, you know? So if I'm on edge today and my cat is biting my ankles and it pisses me off and I don't respond how I want to respond to my cat or to whoever on the street or, you know, if I'm not feeling super sociable today, I think that's okay. I need to recognize where I'm at and take care of my needs. So to be gentle with myself. And the third thing is to really keep it simple and break it down to the basics of like, am I drinking enough water? Am I eating enough? You know, am I exercising? Am I going outside? Those four things alone have been huge in other situations when I feel dysregulated to get grounded again in my body, to feel my feelings and to allow myself to feel my feelings because that's the way we heal is by feeling those emotions when they come up. And if I don't feel them when they come up, allow myself space to feel them when I do feel safe, when I do feel comfortable enough to be vulnerable with myself So, it's a beautiful day. I feel a little shitty, but I think the sun's gonna help with that. Anyway, I wish you love. <laughs>